We know that women with PCOS don't necessarily ovulate every month. And it can be very difficult to tell if we are ovulating or when we are going to ovulate. And that can make trying to conceive with PCOS very frustrating and very difficult. So in this video, we're gonna talk about four different ways that you can monitor ovulation and your fertility with PCOS. I'm Taryn from PCOS Diet Support, and I talk a lot about PCOS and what we can do to manage it naturally. So if you wanna know more about PCOS, then I really wanna encourage you to subscribe to the channel, hit that bell to get notifications of when new videos are released. Now, there are four things that we're going to be speaking about, four ways of monitoring ovulation. We are going to be talking about ovulation predictor kits. We're going to be talking about basal body temperature charting. We're going to be talking about the OvuSense fertility monitor. And lastly, we're going to be talking about the mirror fertility monitor. When we talk about each one of these, we are going to discuss the, the cost of them, the ease of use, and the effectiveness in women with PCOS. So when I first um, started thinking about trying to conceive, I started at a very similar time as a lot of my friends. And one of the first things that my friends did is they went out and bought a whole lot of ovulation predictor kits. So what these things are is they are, um, it's often like a, almost look, can look very similar to a pregnancy test. This is one that I picked up at my um, local pharmacy. So they can look very much like a pregnancy test. Um, all you do is you take a, a sample of urine, generally early in the morning, you take your first sample of urine, you pop one of these in that urine, and it will look for a hormone called luteinizing hormone. Now, the reason that it looks for you luteinizing hormone is that when women ovulate, just before we ovulate, we get the spike of luteinizing hormone. And that is what these tests are looking for. Now, the tests that I picked up, they are looking for about 25. Sorry, I just want to pick up and tell you exactly what they're looking for and the units that they're looking for it in. But it is looking for luteinizing hormone. And I think I read that it was 25. And of course, I'm not going to be able to find it right now. Here we go. I found it. So they are looking for 25 MIU per milliliter. So that's what they're looking for. Okay. So when normally you would do, say, five or six of these tests, you would start, if you if you didn't have PCOS, you would start roughly at the rounded time that you think you might be ovulating. So generally speaking, we're saying that normally ovulation happens on around day 14. So maybe on day 10, you would start using these. And what you would find is that day by day, the line that shows the, um, the test will get darker and darker, and that will show ovulation. Now, one of the other ways that you could do it is that they have um, the clear blue is a digital one, so it gives you a smiley face if you are ovulating. So that's all well and good, and that really can help women to conceive because if you are able to have intercourse um, either the day before or the day on or the day after you ovulate, you improve your chances of being able to conceive. So that sounds good, but the problem with PCOS is that we generally have raised levels of luteinizing hormone. So it could be that the tests that you are doing are giving you a lot of positives, but they are false positives. So that is the problem with these um, ovulation predictor kits. Okay. Now, if we are talking about the cost, they are relatively inexpensive. So this is one that I found on Amazon, $35.98 for 20 of them. So that's relatively inexpensive, considering you would probably need five or six a cycle if you are not, if you don't have PCOS. The problem if you do have PCOS is when do you even use these things? And um, in terms of ease of use, very easy to use if you're just going to use, um, do your first, your four, sorry, I can't talk today, especially if you're going to use your first urine in the morning, it's very much like a pregnancy test, very easy to use. The problem is, are they effective? The answer is no. They are not always a reliable indicator of ovulation in women with PCOS. So they could be um a waste of money. They could land up being a waste of money. So that is looking at ovulation predictor kits. What then about basal body temperature? Okay, so the, the theory now I, I used it when I was trying to conceive, I used a different thermometer, but this is the one that I have now. So you could use a thermometer like this. The theory behind basal body tracking 
is that when women ovulate, we experience this increase in our basal body temperature. And you can easily use a an app like Fertility Friend. And I'm going to, um, if you just have a look over here, you can see one of the charts that are given to you by Fertility Friend. Basically, what you do is you take your temperature first thing in the morning, and that will give you what your basal body temperature is. Now, it's really important that you take your temperature before you get out of bed, before you get going with your day, because as soon as you do any activity, your basal body temperature will rise. So you need to do it first thing in the morning, preferably at the same time every morning. And you need to make a note of what your temperature is. What will happen is that your temperatures will stay relatively low in the first part of your cycle. As soon as you um, ovulate, you will see this spike in your temperature that will stay elevated until either you get pregnant or until your period starts. Then you will see a drop in your temperature. So in terms of cost, this is incredibly cost effective. You can pick up one of the, one of the um, digital thermometers for about $7.50 and it will last until the batteries run out. But generally speaking, it will last most of your um, fertility journey. So this is what I used when I was trying to conceive. In terms of ease of use, I gave it a four out of 10. The reason being is that it can be a bit of a pain. I would set my alarm for five in the morning. I would take my temperature. I would make a note of it and I would go back to sleep. So it can be a little bit of a pain because you have to make sure that you are taking it at the same time every single morning. In terms of effectiveness, well, it is very effective in confirming that you have ovulated. Okay, so it will tell you, I'm going to just move this so that it's not over my face. It will tell you, it will confirm that yes, in fact, you have ovulated. The problem is, is that once you have ovulated, you've almost already missed your fertility window. Your chance of being able to conceive go down if you are confirming ovulation after the fact. Okay, so it's not great in predicting ovulation. It will only tell you that you have ovulated, but very cost effective. And what I will say about this way of doing um, fertility charting or this way of knowing or tracking your ovulation is I found it incredibly helpful when on those months when I hadn't ovulated and I expected that my period was going to arrive at any point, I knew that my period hadn't come, not because I was pregnant, but because it wasn't coming, because I hadn't ovulated. So it really helped to alleviate some of the mental strain and anxiety that I felt. If I did ovulate, then I would know, I would be able to tell by my fertility chart and by my temperature if I had conceived or if my period was coming. And from a mental health point of view and an um, emotional point of view, I really found that just really helpful because it took some of the anxiety out of the unknown. It gave me more information to work on. And in fact, with both my children, I knew that I was pregnant before I'd even gotten my positive pregnancy test. In particular with my son, I only got my positive pregnancy test probably about day 21 after ovulation. So it, it took a really long time for me to get my positive test with him. But I still knew that I was pregnant because my temperature was constantly elevated. It didn't drop down. So it may not be helpful in... Um, in predicting ovulation, but I still found it a really helpful tool on my fertility journey. Now, the next thing we're gonna talk about is the Ovusense. Now, if you haven't heard of Ovusense, it is one of the products that I really recommend and that I really love for women with PCOS. And this is how it works. It is, it looks like a little mouse with a little tail. It is a vaginal um, thermometer. So what you do is you insert the Ovusense vaginally every night. And what it does is it detects um, or it picks up your basal body temperature every five minutes. So it can give you a really accurate indication of what your basal body temperature is. What is amazing about it is that it is so sensitive that it can predict your ovulation. So not only will it um, confirm ovulation, it will also predict ovulation. What, what is also really amazing is that it has a really cool app. So it syncs to the app and it will, it will gather the information from your previous months to help predict when you will be ovulating. So I think that it is um, a really helpful tool in your fertility journey. Uh, in terms of cost, the Ovusense costs $129. And with that, you get a two-month subscription you, so you get the Obviousense sensor and you get a two-month subscription for the app. 
for $299, you will get a 12 month subscription. Okay, now I will say that I am an affiliate for Obviousense because I really believe in it. And I will put my link, my affiliate link below because you will also get a discount on that when you buy through my link. Um, so that is the cost of the of Obviousense. So it's a one-off payment. If you're going for a year, it's a one-off payment, which is helpful. In terms of the ease of use, hang on, let's take that away. In terms of the ease of use, I gave it a four out of five. And the reason being is that it is very easy to um, use. You don't, you're not really aware of it at night. It's almost like wearing a tampon, really. You don't, it's something that you're not really aware of. I will say that it is, um, I found it a little bit of an, of an inconvenience. Um, it's a little bit off-putting. It was a little bit off-putting for my husband. Um, but apart from that, it really is, once it's in, it's very comfortable. And, and for the information that it gives you, it is totally worth the inconvenience, especially if you're trying to conceive. So it, it, it is a um, very easy to use and it is a, quite a powerful tool. Um, in terms of the effectiveness, the effectiveness in confirming ovulation, it is about 99% accurate in confirming ovulation and it can be very accurate in predicting ovulation. What I will say is that, and I'm covering my face again, what I will say about this is that you don't necessarily get a huge fertile window, okay? So it's not going to tell you three days before ovulation that ovulation is impending, that ovulation is coming. So, um, so it will still tell you, but you may not get as big a fertile window as you could have. So that is the obvious sense. The next one we're going to be speaking about is the mirror fertility monitor. Now, the mirror fertility monitor looks like this. It looks very cool, space agey. It is something that you, um, and these are the strips. So it is very similar to what we spoke about when we spoke about this um, ovulation predictor kits, okay? So it's also testing for luteinizing hormone. But what is amazing about mirror is that it, it compares your levels. So if you have PCOS and your luteinizing hormone is high, it has um, technology where it can understand and give you your specific baseline. So it is not going to compare you against the general population and all the women without PCOS. It is going to compare against you, which means that it is going to be more able to pick up the spike in luteinizing hormone when you ovulate. The other really awesome thing about Mira is that the um, the Starter Kit Plus will also look at, at estrogen levels. Now, estrogen levels will also rise before ovulation. So basically, Mira is able to uh, compare you to you, okay? So it's giving your specific baselines, which is amazing and really powerful because it will be able to still pick up ovulation for you. Now, let's talk about the cost of the Mira. The Mira costs $199.00 for the starter kits and that comes with 10 ones but you also then will need to pay for extra ones so for extra ones it'll be 59 dollars for 20 ones okay so it again can still be cost effective it's definitely something that is um worthwhile especially because of the information that you can get from the mirror i will say as well again that i'm an affiliate for mirror because i really believe in the product and i will put the link to my um my affiliate link below so i will get a small commission but more importantly you will get a discount on this price so you can get it at less for this if you use my affiliate link and um, in terms of ease of use it is super easy to use all you do is you collect your first urine sample in the morning in this helpful little cup which comes with the mirror you put the um the wand into the mirror i mean into the urine sample like so once you have collected enough of a sample, you simply pop it in like that, actually, and it gives you, and I'm doing that wrong, you do it like this, and it will tell you, it gives you an arrow on it to tell you exactly which way to pop it in. You pop it in like that, and that will give you a reading. Now, there is also an app with the mirror that will help you to interpret and analyze this data. So in terms of ease of use, it's very easy to use. It's very non-intrusive. Um, so it definitely is... I gave the ease of use a five out of five. Easy to use, you just do it and um, do it in the morning and that'll give you really accurate information and a good sample. Now the really awesome thing about Mira is that not only will it help you to confirm ovulation, 
but it will also help you to predict ovulation. And the reason that it's going to help you to predict ovulation is because it's going to give you the spike in a luteinizing hormone, which is specific for you. It's not comparing against the general population. But not only that, it will also help you by giving you your estrogen levels. And so the estrogen levels are going to spike first, and then the luteinizing hormones are going to spike. Okay, So if you're looking at that spike in estrogen, it's able to give you a six-day fertile window. So your chances of being able to conceive are going to be considerably higher if you know that actually you have six days of, um, of a fertile window as opposed to a two or three day. So it's not that your fertile window is going to change. The number of days is not going to change with the mirror. Obviously, it is your body. But what is going to change is your knowledge of when your fertile window is, which means that you will be able to plan better to maximize your fertile window to enable you to conceive. So those, those are, are my um, reviews of the ways that we can predict ovulation. Now, there are other ways that we can do. You can look at your um, cervical mucus. Again, this is not always 100% reliable in women with PCOS. Sometimes we get to a cervical mucus and that can disappear. It doesn't necessarily mean that we are ovulating. Um, you can also try and feel your cervix position. Again, this, this is a good way of knowing if you are nearing a fertile window. I will say that I could never figure it out of myself. I just found it very confusing. So it didn't work for me personally. Doesn't mean that it won't necessarily work for you. So what, what's really important is that we're looking for a number of symptoms. And these are all tools. There are tools that we can use in our fertility journey. Now, it depends. It really depends on what your goals are, what your budget is. For me, I, I found basal body temperature um, tracking very helpful. It was very inexpensive um, and it really helped from, as I said, it really helped from a mental health point of view, um, an emotional point of view, but it didn't predict ovulation. I didn't know when I was ovulating. I just happened to get pregnant on the months that I was ovulating, but I couldn't, I couldn't um, forecast that. My next recommendation would either really be the OvuSense or the Mirror, because these are specifically um, helpful for women with PCOS. It will tell you information about your body, and it's not going to compare you to the general population. It is comparing you to you, um, which gives you really helpful information. So if you have any questions about any of the things that we've spoken about in this video, please feel free to just leave me a comment below. I'm really happy to answer any questions that you might have. Um, and I really hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I'd really appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. It just helps to spread the news on the YouTube algorithm. Um, so yeah, I really, um, I appreciate you. Thank you for joining me and I will see you in the next video.